The, uh, the broken mirror is quite an old idea, actually. It's, a, it's an idea that's been knocking around in my head for a long, long time. It began as a children's novel that I wrote in my early 20s and put to one side, dug out again uh, 30 or so years later and read it and didn't like it. I only liked one thing about it, which was the central idea of uh, a child finding uh, a fragment of broken mirror which reflects something other than the world around her. That idea I thought was, uh, was interesting and I decided to uh, turn it into a story which was much shorter and also which would be illustrated. So I was looking around for someone to collaborate with uh, and then I was, uh, I was appearing at a festival and another person appearing at uh, this festival was, a, was an artist from Naples called uh, Chiara Cocciarese. And uh, we got talking and she showed me some of her work and I, I completely fell in love with it, with, with the vibrancy of the colours. I immediately felt an affinity between what she was doing and what I was trying to do in this story. There's a kind of magical, fabulous quality to her work. Uh, she's very influenced by Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland, uh, this kind of thing. And, but also very, in a very playful way, in a very subtle way, there's a, there's a subversive political edge to, to her work as well. And it was a genuine collaboration because she produced some of the illustrations before the text was finished. So a lot of the uh, scenes in the story are actually uh, taken from, from her pictures. It became by default a kind of Italian project. It was published in Italy first, a few years ago now. And uh, having looked at it again, I'm rewriting the story for the Unbound edition. It'll be, a, it'll be a different beast. And also the reason that I'm excited about having it uh, published by Unbound is that they have a very, uh, very free approach to... They're very open to suggestions. And uh, I want it to be a beautiful object as well uh, as, you know, having an interesting relationship between the text and the pictures. So, uh, you know, Unbound, I was happy to find we're very open to that, uh, to that way of doing it. <laughs>